afternoon. I'm currently replacing my oil pressure gauge. Um, it's the old Smith's gauge and um, I got a brand new Land Rover style gauge which has the oil pressure and then the temperature in centigrade. So I'm going to get a little bit more accurate reading um, on those two. And I'll show you the gauge right now, what it looks like. Here's the new gauge. And it comes with, you know, all the washers. And this is the sensor for the water temperature. And then I've got this uh, coiled hose which goes to the oil pressure outlet and I've got a banjo adapter here and basically that goes on the old um, the oil filter at the top of the canister so I'm getting ready to install that. I, I've removed the old oil pressure gauge which was electrical so it depended on an electrical sen sender and it really never went above 25 pounds pressure. So, so the old oil pressure gauge is removed. Now, what I did here was I just sealed off the end of the green wire, which is hot, basically. That's the positive. This is the old oil sender, which was attached via a banjo bolt, they call it. This banjo bolt was atop, attached to the top of the oil filter canister and um, basically it's electrical and that's probably why I never got a reading above 25 psi. This little red washer goes right on the tip there of the outlet and that fits into the end of the hose like that. There is not a hole big enough to allow the capillary tube uh, with the big nut attached to the end of it to fit through the firewall. So I just basically I'm going to use a Dremel tool to um, go ahead and cut a little bit of a hole in the firewall. So here you can see I'm pulling the here you can see I'm pulling the water temperature sensor through the hole that I made and I had to widen it in order for this piece to fit through the because this bolt and this bolt is so wide so I had to widen that hole for it to fit through and I'll use this grommet to seal up the hole a little bit better when I pull the water temperature sensor through it so here you can see I've put the water temperature sensor into the engine block and that takes a 5 8 UNF adapter attached to the brass bolt. They have two kinds, there's a 3 8 and a 5 8 but for this particular engine block the 5 8 fits in there nicely. And then I've taken the cable, well the capillary tube is what it's called, and just um, I just put it. I, you have you can't make a crimp or a bend in it. So basically, I I made a uh, loop, and I'm just using a cable tie, and then I put a cable tie there to the heater cable. So the heater cable comes out of the firewall, and this does too. The next step is for me to attach the oil pressure cable to the oil filter canister top so I've got a banjo connector attached to the uh, tube so here it is here's what it looks like so the way this work the way this works is this is a special bolt on this end, the oil pressure switch for the green light goes. It goes here. And then over here, I'm going to put two washers. It's going to go up through the banjo bolt, up through the banjo bolt like that. Another washer 
goes right here and then this goes into the oil filter canister top. So that's how the assembly is going to be placed. I'm trying a special washer on the switch, on the oil pressure switch, with a rubber, looks like it has a rubber washer on the inside and it's um, steel on the outside. That's what I'm going to use and then that goes into here and I think the seal will be better. So I'm just going to try that and see how it works. Here you can see I've hooked up the banjo bolt and the through bolt and on the end is the oil, pres oil pressure switch. That's what's right there on the end. And that should all work fine. I'm going to give it a test now and see how it works. So the engine's running. I just started it up. You can see I've got about 50 PSI on the oil pressure and it's running at about looks like 50 here it looks like 50 centigrade temperature so this, this um, oil pressure and water temperature gauge is working perfectly and everything's hooked up great